The diagnosis of heart disease used to be pretty frightening since there was so little that doctors could do. Now, the earlier your doctor makes the diagnosis, the better the chance that you can lead a completely normal life undertaking all of the activities you enjoy. Still, the diagnosis is missed often. Steve Nissen is a cardiologist at the Cleveland Clinic, a nationally ranked center of excellence. The majority of both men and women do not come in with the kind of squeezing or tightness in the chest that we call angina. They come in with a very dramatic problem like a heart attack or worse yet, sudden death. And it's why knowing the subtle symptoms is so important. The biggest mistake, expecting the classic Hollywood heart attack with severe chest pain and then down the left arm. It's just not the case, say senior cardiologists. If patients have angina or they're having a heart attack, the most common symptoms is a chest pressure actually, or even a pain in the upper part of their belly, which very many patients describe as indigestion. Some of the symptoms that are missed include pain in the arms, pain in the jaw or neck, passing out, dizziness, those kinds of subtle things need to be taken seriously if you're at risk. Symptoms in women are also atypical. Women tend to have chest pain, but they also tend to have more atypical symptoms such as shortness of breath, nausea and fatigue and a lot of times that's why patients don't call 911 because they think well I have nausea I don't really have chest pressure so I must not be having a heart attack. The bottom line is that the sooner you recognize these symptoms the better your outcome. The first and the most important step is your visit to a cardiologist. There is no substitute for a careful clinical history that is going to be taken by a physician and a careful physical exam cardiologists are expert at discerning very subtle symptoms. If they're suspicious, the next step is a stress test. Which is essentially a treadmill test during which uh, cardiologists measure your EKG and a blood pressure in order to see whether under stress condition there are any signs of coronary artery disease. If your test is equivocal, you may be asked to undergo other tests that image the heart. If those tests are suggestive of coronary artery disease, the definite test is a coronary angiogram. This test looks inside the coronary arteries to detect blockages and judge how they might best be treated, surgery, balloon therapy, or medication. The early diagnosis of heart disease can make a world of difference. Catching symptoms early means treating the disease months to years before it gets serious. If you have any of the signs or symptoms you've just heard, don't second guess yourself. Call 911. It could save your life.